Uh, right now we're sitting at 64. We still have clear skies for the time being. Otherwise, winds out of the south southeast 15 miles an hour. So they're staying pretty strong even into the overnight hours. Uh, you can see those clouds off to the west, not far away for a lot of us, and even some rain upwards of South Dakota and into Minnesota. So we're eventually going to tap into some of those soggier conditions tomorrow. But for the time being, you can see that front off to the west and uh, whole state of Iowa dry. So that front continues to slowly march its way eastward into tomorrow evening. For most of us, a lot of the daylight hours are going to be fine as we head in towards the evening. Though that's when it starts to transition to more of the chances for showers and even a few thunderstorms. And for northwestern portions of the state, really the northwestern third of the state, could start to see that by mid-afternoon hours or so. So on the back side of this, we've got the colder air. You can see off to the west, Rapid City, 31 tomorrow, 38 for North Platte. Watch how this crashes in as we head into the day on Tuesday. 80 for St. Louis, Kansas City. A soggy and soaked 52, 47 for the metro areas off to the west. Recovering a little bit, North Platte at 50. So breaking the day down hour by hour tomorrow. We're hanging out in the middle 60s. It is going to be unusually warm for a November morning out there. Temperatures back into the low 70s tomorrow afternoon. Staying breezy. We're still going to see gusts upwards of 30 to 35 miles an hour. And we've got clouds to go along with that. Our chances for rain, though, through central portions of the state. Once we start to get past 5, they're really going to start to ramp up. Um, and then into the evening hours, we'll likely see a chance for a few thunderstorms out there as well. So tracking this out for you hour by hour. Notice the clouds. We're hanging on to those all day. And then marches in the rain. Areas like Fort Dodge to Omaha picks that up earlier. And we continue to see those showers and thunderstorms build into the evening. So we'll continue to hang on to those into the overnight. Look at the mix and the snow that we've got to the northwest. We're likely going to see that. Uh, could even see some sleet in spots. There's potential uh, for some light freezing rain. Again, shouldn't accumulate, uh, but still at least have a little bit of icing on some raised surfaces. Your rain tracker, some of us could pick up as much as an inch of rain too. So I know we are still in the throes of a drought, and this should help out with that for some of us at least. An inch or so for Ames. I wouldn't be surprised to see some totals upwards of an inch and a half as this thing wraps up. So as far as your snow is concerned, areas of the northwest will have the best chances for picking up any and should be on the order of an inch to two inches in spots. But uh, it'll be mixed in with that wintry mix. And again, could be too soggy to accumulate too much for some of us. But still, we're transitioning to more fall-like and even winter-like weather, but not tonight. 63 the overnight low, winds out of the south, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Sunsets at 5 p.m. tonight. We won't see another sunset uh, at 5 p.m. or later again until January 7th. So that daylight's getting shorter. 72 is our high for tomorrow. That's 20 degrees above average and across central portions of the state. Hanging on to the warmth. 69 with a chance for a storm. Dallas Center upwards towards Granger as well. Go statewide. You can see that colder air working its way into the southeast. So we look at your eight day forecast. Big changes. 72 down to 47 on Tuesday. We Soak in some sunshine for Veterans Day, working a little bit more cloud cover on Thursday. We are staying cooler though, upper 40s to low 50s through the weekend. More chances for rain on Saturday.